Hello, in this video I will show you how I usually get C++ students started with Qt Creator. First I'll start Qt Creator and I will make a new graphical user interface project with all the defaults. So I click on new project, I select Qt Widgets application. I can put a file name here of my project but I don't care, I just click next, 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 next all the time. As a base class I prefer to use Q-Dialog because I think a dialog is nice, I think a main Q-Main window, you can all use all three of them, but I prefer Q-Dialog here, just check the others two out and you'll see why. No version control yet. So what I show the student is now we've created our first program, we can actually already run it. So without any line of code we've already created a dialog, and the dialog can, can maximize, you can resize it. So without any typing we've made our dialogue. But this is not very interesting at all. So the next thing I'll show is at the left we have our project overview. You can see that I click on the on the arrows. And there we can see that our C++ project consists out of one, two, three, four, five files. Uh, they were all default created because I didn't do anything yet. Uh, the most important thing to start the, like the fun thing to start is you go to the form. So I've clicked on, let, let's go back again, so I've clicked on dialog.ue, UE means user interface, and here you can see the default dialog that we've like created, that was default created. Like if I drag a push button on there, now I've written my first program. If I run it now, you see, tada, push button, yeah, there it is, you can click on it. Like it doesn't do anything yet, but that's correct because I didn't program it to do so. Right, the next thing I'll show you is how to modify things you put on the form. So here at the left there are all these nice widgets you can use. Uh, you can drag them on the form and try them out. But let's say I want to change the text here. Well at the right we see the object inspector and here we can see all the, thi all the, the, the things a button has, the, the, the attributes. Well, we want to change the caption of the button. Well, I can just um, try it out, but I see here the word text, which is reasonable to assume that that's the caption, and if I type, I immediately see at the button that I'm typing it, so that's cool. I can immediately see... Um, I can immediately see what I'm doing in design time. So if I run my program now, I've created a button with a text hello that still doesn't do anything. Alright, it's time to leave um, design time. Design time is the time that you are programming without typing any code. You are uh, dragging things and... Now it's time to do some real coding. I want to do that if I click on this button, that something happens. For example, the text should change to I am clicked. Alright, to make something happen with this button, you do right mouse button. You click go to slot. A slot is uh, yeah, something that happens when something uh, is emitted. And I'm going to create uh, the signal clicked to, uh, to respond. So when I clicked on the button, then this code should happen. So you see that I'm taken back to my C++ code. You, you can't read this yet as a beginner, but that's just fine. This, this happens when, uh, when the button clicked. Right, the pl all you need to be is between these curly braces and everything there in between happens where the button is clicked. So what I wanted to do is I want to change the text on the button. So the text on the button is called text, so it's not a caption or, um, or whatever. Um, I'm going to, I want to change, if I click on this then the text should be changed. Well, I can't go back to the slot again, let's this way, I like to use edit, I click on dialog.cpp and then I'm here at my code, what happens when the button is clicked. Well, I want to do something like button set text somehow, but um, you don't know this. Well, luckily we have a programming environment, Qt Creator, that can help us. If we use this we get a list of all things we can pick. And um, 
these are things you can do with the dialog itself but we want of the user interface we want to pick the button well this is one thing you should know if you click UE then you can access everything of the user interface so I type this arrow UE and with the arrow we can pick things that are uh, in the, within our user interface and it's in this case we only have a push button it's called a push button and we can do things with that thing and th these are all the things we can do on the push push button so we want to change the text so let's scroll around here we see text but if I use text as a, a member function it's not setting the text it's reading the text here you can see this is tooltip it means that text is a, a member function that doesn't take any argument it's read only because it's const and it returns a Q string that's not what we want we want to change the text well cute is very um, very standard in its name choice which is awesome if I want to set something you prepend you put start with set then we click text we want it to text and here we can put our word uh, our text I am clicked for example so if I run my code now I have written my first C++ program and that does something if I click it it says I am clicked Alright, every time I click it now, there's nothing new happening because it, it replaces the text by I am clicked and if it's I am clicked, then nothing happens in, 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 in practice. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to read the current text of the button and append an exclamation mark so that you don't only set a property of a push button or whatever, but also get the value of a push button or whatever. So I'm going to click the dialog, uh, close the dialog. Well, we already accessed how to get the text of the push button. You just use text. So with this thing, I obtain the text of the push button. Well, I can also add uh, an exclamation mark to that. So this whole construct is how to append an exclamation mark to the text. But we don't set it as being the new text of the push button. To do so, we have to call set text. And instead of I am clicked, I'm going to put the thing there. So we're going to set the text with the current text with an exclamation mark added. Let's run it. And here we see. So I've just showed you how to create a dialog, how to set properties of that user interface, and how to get properties of those user interface, and how to make it respond to something. So this is the very, very basic, but you can already do a lot of cool things. There are so many cool objects you can put on there. My favorite by far is the dial. I love to put the dial somewhere. Um, if you want to put an image somewhere, use a label. That's, a, that's something you need to know. And as a label, you need to pick it. Pix, choose a pix map. That's 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 the name of an image. And then you can just put your um, well. Yeah. Then you can put images there. But it's uh, all oh, the LCD numbers is fun. And you can all you have to find out yourself how to get and set properties. And uh, but but it's rather straightforward. Just peek at the right the, the object inspector. It will help you out a lot. Alright, happy programming!